What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I have a very special guest. I have Coach Anthony Rodriguez. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I called because I want to ask you some questions. You and your team got a big fight tonight, Hank Lundy versus Thomas Delorme. And for the fans, can you explain your role in the Lundy camp? What do you do, and how long has that been in effect? Yeah, yeah. My role, I'm basically one of the pad guys. Uh, I give Hank Lundy his network when he's in the Philadelphia area. Um... I own a gym over in New Jersey. He comes over to me. You know, we work on different strategies. I keep his punches nice and sharp. Uh, we run different combinations and defensive pattern drills that we do. And uh, that's my role. Whenever he's in the Philadelphia area, when he's not training with Barry Hunter, Mike Stafford, Patrick Harris over at Headbangers down in Washington, D.C., he comes to me. And, uh, you know, I keep him sharp when he's in the area. All right, perfect. All right, and about the fight, I heard that Thomas Delorme, I don't know if it's a rumor, but I already had a little bit of trouble making weight for this fight. Have you heard anything about that? Yeah, that's what we heard, but uh, he came in at 139 pounds, so I'm thinking whoever put out that rumor probably said a little white lie to kind of throw everybody off, because uh, he looked in good shape, and uh, he didn't look like he had a problem making 139 pounds at all. All right, perfect. And as far as Hank Lundy, what have you seen? This training camp, does he look sharp? Does he look ready to go? Yeah, he's ready to go, man. He's been sparring all the best, you know, fighters you can possibly think of on the East Coast, man. He, you know, he sparred with uh with the Peterson brothers. He, he sparred with Austin Trout. I mean, he sparred with with, with, with everybody, man. You know, he, he's in top shape. You know what I mean? He's ready to go, man. Hank Lindsay's been doing this a long time, um, and it's about time the world gets to find out who he is tonight. All right, perfect. And I know you can't give too much of the game plan away. But what have you seen in Thomas Delorme that makes you feel that Hank Lundy has this fight? Yeah, I mean, because to me, you know, the way I look at Thomas Delorme, he looks like a pretty good trained boxer. But the difference between Hank Lundy and Thomas Delorme is that Hank Lundy is also a very skilled boxer, but he's a true fighter. He does things off pure instinct. Um, he's a very, very game fighter, a very tough fighter, very passionate. Um, he has a very strong will. And I feel like Thomas DeLorme, once you put the pressure on and once he, he starts to take it on the chin a little bit, he's going to break down. Uh, Hank Lundy was born to do this. I feel like Thomas DeLorme was trained to do this. And it's two different things. You know, when you're trained and when you're born to do something, you know, it's just a different level. And uh, you're going to find out tonight that uh, Hank Lundy is the real deal. Okay. And this last weekend, I was out in Omaha for the Terrence Crawford Ray Beltran fight. Hank Lundy had a controversial fight with Ray Beltran. Moving forward, if he does get past Thomas Delorme without looking too far ahead, would you like to see a fight at 140 with uh, Terrence Crawford? What names would you like to see personally with Hank Lundy? Man, Hank Lundy could fight anybody from 135 pounds to 140 pounds. I mean, him and Terrence uh, Crawford will be a very interesting fight because both those guys can switch. I think Terrence is an excellent boxer. Um, I mean, Hank Lundy personally would love to fight Danny Garcia. Uh, he's called him out on several different occasions. Um, I've spoke to him about this, you know what I mean? And uh, that's who he would like to fight. So Hank Lundy is really those, one of those guys that, you know, he really wants to fight any and, and any and everybody. He's a real throwback guy. You know, he could be friends with you outside the ring, but that doesn't mean that he's not going to fight you in the ring. When it comes to this boxing thing, he just wants to fight any and anybody. He wants to prove to the world that uh, he's definitely one of the elite fighters of the division. Perfect. Yeah, I like that with Danny Garcia. Um, he had a soft touch in his last fight with Rod Salka, Philly versus Philly. I think that would be a nice scrap, two fighters that have shown heart. I mean, I mean, definitely. I mean, and I, 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 let's really analyze Hank Lundy here. I mean, he comes into this fight, he might be the slight underdog, I'm not sure. But um, when, you, when, you, when you really look at him, I mean, he fought John Molina. He damn near pitched a shutout in that fight. You know, there were some things that happened before the fight, and yeah, he got stopped in that fight. But in a fight that he dominated every single round, I mean, anybody can get caught with a good shot. And against Beltran, I personally thought he won. And against Victor Posto, I personally thought he won. So in my opinion, Hank Lundy could technically be an undefeated fighter, had everything that went perfect in the in the uh, Molina fight. Um, you know, Hank Lundy has always been the guy who comes in and fights who he's supposed to lose to, and he wins. You know, Danny Garcia had paid money to not fight Victor Posto. You know, he fought Rod South. I mean, that's enough said. It shows you what Hammer Hank Lundy's all about. Well stated. As far as the main event, Gabe Rosado, that's a good fight with David Lemieux. What do you think? What are your early thoughts on that particular fight? Man, you know, I haven't seen much about David Lemieux. I mean, I've seen him before. I've seen him fight, and he's a very explosive guy. Gabriel Rosado, you know, he's a tactical fighter. 
Um, he's very skilled. You know, from what I've seen in Gabriel Rosado, every time he steps up to a big fight, he seems to he seems to you know either lose or something happens. You know, I, I'm wishing the best for Gabriel. I'm rooting for the Philly fighter. You know, I don't know much about David Lemieux, so you know, I mean, like I said, you know, I'm going for the for the Philly Rican. I'm going for the Puerto Rican for Philly to win. And uh, but you know, at the end of the day, I mean, if David Lemieux is who he's supposed to be, he should be able to win this fight. But then again, I don't know, so. You know, I'm just going to rule with Gabriel on this one. And as far as the Barclays Center, it's a new state-of-the-art stadium. What are your thoughts on it? Have you been there before? What do you, what do you think? What The whole experience, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah, I've been there several times. I was there when I was at Judah for the Pauli Malinaji. Um, been there to see Danny Garcia fight. And, uh, you know, now that we're coming back, and now, you know, it's the first time I'm actually going out there with a fighter that I work with on my own. But um, I think it's a beautiful arena. I think it's great for New York City. It's great for Brooklyn. Um, you know, something different. And uh, I can tell you, Hank was he's very excited to fight there. It's the first time actually fighting in New York City. So, you know, he, he plans on putting on the show. I got to get your thoughts on two potential fights. They're nothing official. But Mayweather Pacquiao and then Miguel Cotto versus Canelo, those are two fights that are considered to possibly happen in 2015. Who do you like in those fights? Man, those are two excellent fights. I mean, finally, if Mayweather fights Pacquiao, I mean, even though this fight should have happened maybe three years ago or four years ago, um, both of those guys are live dogs. They're both at the top of their game still, even at this point, so it's still very intriguing. Um, you know, I think Floyd Mayweather is definitely the much more better defensive fighter. Uh, he's definitely, I think, the better technical boxer. But we've seen it time and time again where the technical boxer has just a hard time with awkward sluggers. And especially that Manny Pacquiao is a southpaw. I mean, he brings a lot of things to the table that can frustrate and, and, and trouble Mayweather. He's fast. He's quick. Um, he hits hard. He's game. He's very experienced. So this is not an easy fight for Floyd Mayweather. I know a lot of the Floyd Mayweather fans would like to believe it is. It's definitely not. There's a reason why Floyd has not, you know, picked up this fight a lot sooner. So I think it's a very good fight. You know, I, I would, if I had to put my money on it, I'm going to lean towards Floyd Mayweather because I think skills pays the bills. But Manny Pacquiao is a live, live dog, and he has a, he has a really good shot at, uh, you know, frustrating Mayweather, especially coming from that South Pole stance. Okay. Um, as far as Canelo Alvarez Cotto goes, I think that's another excellent fight. I've been saying that, that those two should fought. Also, I mean, I think that's a very good fight. Um, Cotto looked amazing against Sergio Martinez. Uh, Canelo has shown some vulnerability in his last two fights. But when you think about the people who he fought, I mean, he fought Floyd Mayweather Jr., who doesn't look great against him. I mean, who looks good against Floyd? And uh, who did he fight last again? And it's Lonnie Laura. Yeah, he fought Arizona Laura, another technical skill, south tall counter puncher. I mean, these are guys that you can't look good against. So, I mean, you know, I think personally that Canelo Alvarez can beat Miguel Cotto. I think that he's a strong guy. I think that he's very skilled and technical. And uh, a lot of people are counting Canelo out because of his last two fights. He fought two of the best fighters out there. I mean, Floyd Mayweather, you know, arguably pound for pound the best boxer right now. And Aaron uh, Lonnie Lara is also, I mean, to, you know, how can you exclude that guy? I mean, who really has beat him clearly? I mean, so that's another good fighter. So, I mean, I'm going to go with Canelo Alvarez against Miguel Cotto. All right, perfect. And what are your final thoughts about tonight's event and your message to the fans? Um, I expect an exciting show. I mean, Hank Lundy, you know, he's a, he's a very good boxer. He can brawl. He has good defense. He has a good boxing IQ. Uh, a lot of the people who don't watch boxing as much as some of us boxing enthusiasts might not know who he is. So I think expect for a new star to, to arise tonight. Um, and uh, the message to the fans is, you know, let's keep boxing alive. I mean, there's, there's a lot of good fighters out there, you know, especially in the 135, 140-pound, 147-pound division. I mean, when you, when you look at all the talent out there, I mean, you can mix and match all these guys and get great fights. You got Keith Thurman, Devin Alexander, Amir Khan, Floyd Mayweather, Danny Garcia, the Peterson brothers. I mean, the list goes on and on. There's all these great fighters that if we just go ahead and stop ducking each other and mix and match everybody the way it's supposed to be and not be so content, not be so worried about losing. You know, everybody wants to keep a perfect record in boxing. If you look at MMA, all those guys got losses. Some of the champions in MMA had six, 
seven, eight losses. So when you look at boxing, we're too concerned about protecting the O. But instead of protecting the O, we should just mix and match everybody like they did in the 80s, like they did in the 90s. And boxing can rise against being the number one sport. Perfectly stated. I appreciate your time. Coach Anthony, if fans want to follow you, stay in touch, where can they do that? They can follow me on Instagram at Coach Anthony. My Twitter is at Coach Anthony01. I'm active on there. I try my best to respond to everybody who speaks to me. So, you know, just hit me up on those two social uh, networks. And, you know, let's connect. Let's talk some boxing. All right. I want to thank you for your time. I wish you good luck today oh, at the Barclay. One more thing. One more thing. Let me just shout out my website, www.itsonboxingmma.com. I own a gym in Delray, New Jersey. If you're in the New Jersey area, Philadelphia area, you want to come get some boxing training. Our motto is you don't have to be a fighter to train like one. You come on down, you get the boxers workout, the MMA workout without having to worry about getting beat up. Come see me for that as well. All right, I'll definitely include that, and I want to thank you for your time, and I wish you luck at the Barclays tonight. Great, thanks for having me. Thanks, and we'll definitely be in touch. Good luck. Okay, all right, brother. All right, sir.